So when we say to the Imam, come, why do we say that? Deep down, it has to have a philosophy. Otherwise, don't bring the Imam back. Because if you and I are on the wrong side, we will wish he didn't come. Because he's going to expose us to a level we won't be happy. And we will snitch on him. And God forbid, we will strike him. That's the problem. When people say, how do I prepare for the Imam? I said, prepare for Malakul Maut. Are you ready for the angel of death? For there is no difference. He says, what do you mean? I said, the angel of death is when he stops your trial. And God forbid I'm on the wrong side when my trial ends. That's a problem. For I would love to be on the right side. Like Imam Ali alayhi salam, when he's struck, he says, Fuzdu Rabbil Kaaba. I am successful. Why? He says, my exam has ended. And Alhamdulillah, I'm still in submission to Allah. That's why even Yusuf said, Tawaffani Musliman wa alhiqni bis salihin. Let me die a Muslim, oh Allah. You're a, you're a prophet. You have become so honored that your brothers and your father are bowing to you. He said, Rabbi qad ataytani min al-mulk wa allamtani min ta'weel al-ahadith. Fatir al-samawati wal-ard. Anta waliyi fi dunya wal-akhira. Tawaffani Musliman wa alhiqni bis salihin. What a dua. Yusuf, handsome. The world is under his feet. Money, no object, power, food. You're talking about a metropolis like the center of the earth, Egypt. You are in charge of Egypt. You couldn't be higher. Look at his prayer. He said, let me die a believer. Allah is saying, what a lesson I give you. Are you taking this lesson? Are you preparing yourself? That even my prophets were begging to die Muslims. Do you think you will die a Muslim? That just because you are doing your salah or because your fathers were Muslims, you will die a Muslim? Let's not be fooled.